playing in a field of flowers. Head on letter number 1162 published on April 17, 2012 God said, And so, beloveds, you play in a field of flowers, yet you perceive earth as a mine field. From one you, it is. You can't rely on the world. It shifts in sand constantly. Nevertheless, the world's foundation goes very deep and very high. It is solid. It cannot be shaken. The world's foundation never trembles. It never wavers. It cannot be shaken. The foundation is immutable. The house built in the minds of men is subject to disturbances of various kinds, some earth-shaking. Nevertheless, the earth is built on a secure foundation, an unshakable foundation. You who stand on this foundation can't shake all over the place, and, yet, you are not shaken at all. This is the Dhamma you play within the world. You think the Dhamma is real and that you can be vanquished, turned upside down, even slain. What is on stage is a fanness of a kind. You outsmart yourself, if you know what I mean. You leave yourself holding the bag even when there is no bag to hold. It is not possible for you to be skating on thin dice, beloveds. There is no ice. The world you stand on is solid. It is not here today and gone tomorrow. It is always here. And you are always here, the here I speak of, this supreme eternity, this state of being, this pure state of being that takes no prisoners and is itself free in the lovely state of being, the free state, the state of simple being, being and nothing else pushing its way in. In being, you stand with me. You, the essence of being, are the essence of God. Of the same essence are we made, and into oneness of pure being we blend. We shall call ourselves beauty, bliss, joy, delight, yet we are not experience. We are business. I am business, and what I am, you are. There is no tangle here. There are no knots. There is pure being. No muddy waters. Only clarity. This is the ocean without waves. This is the ocean to which there is no shore except the one you imagine and are encouraged to play on and enjoy while you are at it. This is a little while even though time has nothing to do with it except on the shore. This is nothing at all except that it seems like something, something huge in time and space which are themselves evanescent. The appearances are not everything. The story pops out from everywhere, it seems, even though there is no everywhere, no everything, no storage place. No things, no clothes lines, no elms to shade the sun, and, yet, you drink water to supply the body with drink and you shade your eyes from the sun with your hand, and you have eyelids to close and to open, as if matter mattered. It does matter on the dimension you live in. It matters very much. Whole sciences are built around it, and universities, nations, and people and families and all sorts of things. You, who can see in front of you, also have a greater vision. You know that as a longing. That greater vision is always yours. You see it from a distance vaguely. You hear rumors of it. You can't know it is true because of your heart's longing for what is stirred within it. You play on earth, beloveds, while you are firmly planted in heaven. You play at being a human being while you are solid in heaven, while you are pure being and flying high, flying high in stillness. Website www.heavenletters.org